How do you respond to Republicans who try to paint you and your party as anti-police? They're lying. What about defunding the police, though? Because there's no, a, I've never, police. never, never said defunding the police. So let's refresh his memory on which party wants to cut funding to the cops. Yes, I support the defund movement. Not only do we need to defund, but we need to dismantle and start anew. Why use the word defund? Why use the word defund? And it's like, this is the word that's coming from the streets. I am for defunding the police. A moment to reimagine policing. In many cities in America, over one third of their city budget goes to police. So we have to have this conversation. Do we agree that we can redirect some of the funding? Yes, uh, absolutely. <laughs> Jessica? <laughs> the floor is yours. <laughs> Don't fall on it. <laughs> so, Joe Biden, the question, if it was just, have you ever advocated to defund the police, Joe Biden would be right to say they're lying. Joe Biden has never advocated oh, for that. Said he said redirect. Re redirecting is not actually defunding. Defunding means <laughs> he that... He said redirect money from the police. Right, to to what? You're going to make that to, like, to nail salons? To no, what? it's Tell to me. have... They've even done this in New York City, and actually there's some preliminary results that sending some 911 calls to people like social workers is making a big difference versus sending police. I'm just telling you the facts. She of has what a gun. She's sending. pointing the gun at me. Come that's quick. Not, Doo -doo. But We're that's not all the call. calls that go to 911, okay. obviously. So they Joe wait. So they, they're saying, the, let's drill down on this. So you're <laughs> saying the, the 911 operator waits and then listens and then slowly makes a determination whether or not to send real 911 or whether it deserves a social worker. You think that that's I, just split-second decision that's going to be good every time? It's not necessarily going to be good every time, but if you can oh. have some more if effective... Was, I was the victim, I want it to be good every time. Oh, okay, but not every call to 911 is he has a gun. A lot of people call 911 for other sorts of things where that a police officer showing up armed is not going to be the right approach. But either way, obviously the montage is real. Every member of the squad advocated for this. Nancy Pelosi didn't. Whip Clyburn didn't. Joe Biden didn't. People in positions of power. It is obviously a bad issue for Democrats. We don't want to go into the midterms with it hanging around That's our That's all necks. we wanted you to say. <laughs> well, why didn't you just say that? Um, I could have avoided two minutes of chat. Uh, <laughs> all right, Greg. Uh, I mean, it's pretty bad that your biggest defense is not -uh. They did it. It's, I do not blame Joe Biden at all. He clearly doesn't have the internet. <laughs> and he also doesn't watch Fox because if he stuck to his normal uh, uh, menu of news, he may not never have heard this before. It was like the fine people hoax. It was news to him that it wasn't true. That's why they stopped. It took him like a year to stop saying it. But uh, and also, he doesn't get any pushback from the pliant media. You saw Don Lemon just, you know, nodding along like he's listening to Josh Groban. Uh, <laughs> Joe's like an undisciplined kid. He can break things and throw tantrums, but the doting parents are the media. And they just, oh, he's so adorable when he lies. Isn't that cute? He, or maybe he really believes that. No one will ever call him on it. So the bigger problem here is I think that the Dems have turned a basic need into a political football. And the people playing with that football are immune to the consequences of their actions. They're behind gated communities. We say that over and over again. But there's a weird let them eat cake thing here, especially among the national news media. It's not happening, happening exactly outside their door, so they don't really care. I think uh, the solution will not come from Republicans because no one's going to listen to them. No one's going to listen to Fox. They're going to listen to people like Jessica or Harold Ford. Repo uh, moderate Democrats have to expunge the elite activist class who are deliberately subverting our nation by unraveling the basic tenets of justice. And the only people who can do that are Democrats like Jessica. You guys have to make a stand. Like, if we have nutters, you know, on the other side, we're pretty good about booting them to the street. It's time because you're, you got a, you got a, you've got a nugget of nutbags who want to destroy <laughs> this country. Boot your nutters, Jessica. <laughs> Boot your nutters. And then when you're finished booting them, them expunge the them. <laughs> Dagan. Uh, don't these uh, people in power, these left-wing nuts, to use your word, don't they listen to the family members who are on local TV and on Fox News who have lost their loved no. ones? Who uh, the, There was a woman on earlier on Fox News whose son was murdered, and the prosecutor, uh, the circuit attorney, cut a deal on her son's murderer. And she... They, they, I yeah. guess they're ignoring that. Um, and they're also... There's a bigger lie that's going on here. And by the way, Joe Biden, and I say this over and over and over again, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris both 
propose getting rid of cash bail. That is the revolving door that has caused a spike in crime here in New York and in other places. But they're all part of this liberal ecosystem from the lunatics in Washington to the left wing, the governors, the mayors, the city councils, the district attorneys who have implemented these policies that pamper the perpetrators. And Gavin Newsom said something yesterday, and I want to push back on it. I forgot, I forgot to yesterday. He said the evidence doesn't back it up. Over the last three decades, we've actually seen a significant decline in crime in his state, and they say it about other places. You know why? Because there were policies in place that you have ripped up. He's talking about three decades where it was conservative policies that cracked down on crime, that put people in jail. And I just wanted to point out, just like here in New York, in California, the violent crime rate was up last year. The rape rate um, w fell, but aggravated, uh, aggravated assault increased. And so he's, again, focusing on, he's trying to take credit for something that he didn't do. Well, and he's being very dishonest because they're not recording the crime. So if you don't arrest anybody or if you don't prosecute yeah, anybody, true. it's not in the record. And you can say, hey, look, the statistics are less than last year, so therefore crime is going down. But you don't have to be part of the literal defunding monetarily of the pol of the police to defund the police. I mean, Democrats across the board have adopted the BLM message, uh, the Black Lives Matter movement. They didn't speak out last summer when cities were burning and they were causing two billion dollars worth of damage, which of course demoralized the police. They act. They basically painted every single police officer in the country with this racism argument that if, if you're a white police officer, you're out to get black men. Every single time you wake up and put on your badge and go out in the street, that's demoralizing, which is why you're seeing these mass retirements and nobody signing up uh, to do the job. And also, you know, it, it, it's amazing how Democrats have embraced BLM, which has proven itself to be not a movement interested in black lives, or else they would speak out again on all this crime that's happening in black neighborhoods, but really about enriching themselves and and taking the country into more of a Marxist style of economy rather than the capitalist society we have now. And so you don't have to say, I support defund or dismantle like AOC or Ilhan Omar to be part of that movement. Democrats thoroughly embraced a movement that emboldened criminals and demoralized police officers across the country. All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.